Hey yo folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel. Comment days popping up down below. So guys, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be in the next video's comment of the day. Guys, we are on the road to 250,000 subscribers by the end of the month and 500,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if the subscribe button is red, it's the wrong color, make that thing gray, hit the bell, all notifications so you don't miss out on epic videos. In today's epic video, we're here with the Hunter Fisher. So, so guys, as you know, the Hunter Fisher is employed at Bass Pro Shops. So I thought it would be an epic video challenge for today to bring Hunter along with me at Bass Pro Shops to do the ultimate budget challenge. So this challenge is different than a lot of my other budget fishing challenges. Like we like to go in the store with like a hundred bucks, oh, get yeah. what we can get for a hundred bucks or 50 bucks and see what we can get or 10 or 20. Today there is no budget, but what we're gonna do is get everything we need to catch a bass from rod, reel, line, and lures and buy the cheapest version of that that we still think is good. So we don't necessarily have to buy the cheapest thing yeah. if we think it's bad, but like what's the cheapest and most efficient way to catch bass from going inside Bass Pro Shops? That's the goal today. Exactly. What do you think, Connor? I will say one thing. People give Bass Pro a lot of smoke for being not as cheap as some other places, but you would be surprised about what is actually cheap in here and what's not. Exactly, which is why I brought Hunter along because he spends all of his free time on the clock in the back where he's not supposed to be looking at all the fishing lures. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke, yeah. guys. Hunter is it's a very a joke. good I'm, worker. I'm actually a really great worker. The story CEO of the reel bar. I spool reels really good. Yeah. Epic. I know a few deals because, guys, I've been a tackle shopper myself for quite some time, too. I've found some really good deals in here that I can't wait to show you guys that I think will help you guys catch more fish with less money, which is what fishing is all about. It's really just going out and catching the fish the best way that you can. And the more money you save, then the more money you can spend on going on more fishing trips. So it's gonna be a grand time. And then we're gonna catch some big old bass on whatever we buy today, or at least try to. We're gonna catch something that swims today in today's video. So stay tuned for that. Let's go inside and 3000 likes. Hunter and I will take this challenge to Academy and do the same exact thing and see if we can get like better deals in Bass Pro Shops or, you know, compare all the stores to each other. We'll see you guys inside Bass Pro Shops. Let's go, follow me, come on. All right guys, we are here inside of Bass Pro Shops with the Bass Pro Shops employee, the Hunter Fisher. So we have like a little bit of a cheat code finding the best deals in the whole entire store. I'm gonna start because I already have one that I think personally is the best deal I've ever found at Bass Pro Shops. So without further ado, we'll just go ahead and show you guys right off the rip my favorite deal. You guys have seen me talk about it before guys. It's the Sticko Kit. For 649. So with this, especially for those of you guys who are fishing on a budget, you get colors all like these different colors. So no matter what type of fishing conditions you run up on, whether it's cloudy outside, sunny outside, dirty water, clear water, there's a color in this kit that will work for you. You get 36 Cinco's in this for 649. But if you go over here for 1099 for four dollars more, you get six less Cinco's. The same exact things. You get 10 less of them. And this, this kit right here is such a good deal. And same thing, the finesse worms. If finesse worms are more your style, same exact deal right here. So that shaky heads winter fishing would be epic for this. But I just, I love Cinco's. There's a fish catching machine. And for $6.49 to get all these different colors, you really can't go wrong. They're like look, they have different like sets of colors for each one. Like they have the ones that you have have pink. Oh, I actually like and this one yeah, this one's good. And then look at that one down there. So like there's three different color kits with the Bass Pro Stanko kits. Check that out. I kind of like this one. I like that color I want to throw out today. It just looks Do you cool. want hot pink though? Yeah. Dude, that, that was the nighttime magic right there. Guys, okay. If you go night fishing with pink, I'm telling you, I don't night fish too much anymore. Back in my day, you pink and night, fishing. money color. Also, for more soft plastic. So this Cinco's, I normally only throw weightless and you can kind of cut these things in half to add more value and put it like on a Ned rig and even go more finesse. But as far as weighted Texas rigs go, I like something with a little bit of action. To me, it doesn't make too much sense to throw a Cinco on a weighted Texas rig because the Cinco gets its best, best action when it's weightless and it kind of wobbles on the way down. When you put it on a Texas rig, it has no action, which sometimes can be good if the fish are super finicky. All right guys, so lure number two. We're kind of going with Hunter's favorite here. I kind of want the trench hogs, but Hunter says his favorite is the crack and craw. You can use craws for so many things. You can throw them on the back of chatterbait swim jigs, throw them on a Texas rig, throw them on the back of regular jigs. These things have a lot of use. And if you guys want to save even more money on these, use code NORM, 10% off, baby, everything on the Guggen Squad website. It'll be linked down below. But a thing that Guggen Baits does not make, this will be, I think, our last soft plastic that is also a very good buy. You guys probably already know what it is. We're going to take you there real quick. So two things this time of year. I've really been liking lizards 
and also speed worms, or just like swimming tail worms, doesn't matter what brand it is. But Zoom just so happens to make kind of like the cheapest stuff out of all the other companies, even if it maybe isn't as good as some other companies, it's like the most cost effective. I, I kind of like actually a chartreuse too. Here's one of my favorite colors, guys, of all time. Pumpkin chartreuse. Pumpkin spice. With the old lizards and bass, when they start moving up on beds, lizards is like Pissing. one of the number one things that they hate. So I think we're good with these three lures. We're kind of like going over budget. We don't even have a budget. Yeah. When did you get this hat on? How long has that been there? That's been on, that's been on the whole time. I'm not even kidding you guys. I just now noticed it. <laughs> so guys, these would be like my three budget picks. Everything's going to catch you fish and they all have like multi-use where you can fish them weightless, weighted as trailers, cut them in half and fish them as Ned rigs. A lot of good use in these bad boys. Hunter, what are you gonna be your picks because you work here? Oh, I know, I know exactly. Where, we were actually just right next to it with the Kraken Cross. Oh, also, before before we go, before we go, guys. Speedworms. Speedworms, also like epic option. This comes with a pack of 15, and here at Best Pro, they're four bucks. So per worm, you're not spending like too much. Pretty good deal. I love those things too, but if it was a different time of year, I'd be getting the Speedworms instead of the Lizards, but Lizards, February, March, April money trust me the blue crawl river bug this for like getting some brush and stuff like that it's pretty good because you have this crazy flapper action right here and the colors look at that pretty crazy colors right there if you're looking for bass pro bass pro baits 459 right there can't really beat it for the action that comes with it so guys right here this whole wall is bass pro shops brand hard baits this is a really good way to fill up your tackle box with cheaper lures maybe the hooks aren't as good Maybe the action isn't as good, but you're gonna be saving half the price. So obviously you can always go with like, I don't know, like right here, you got these Strike King Red Eye Shad for $6.99, but something that looks exactly the same, you can get for $3.99 right here. Now, I'm sure there's things that are wrong with this one. Maybe the hooks aren't as good, this, that, and the other, but if you guys are on a budget, Bass Pro Shops, and a lot of times, if you look for the bins, they'll have bins where these things are on sale for $1.99. So you can get literally every hard bait you need for $20. Like you get a deep diving crank square bill, uh, lipless crank bait, popper, walking bait, everything that you could ever need hard bait, you could get for $1.99 in here sometimes. All right, guys, another good deal all the time. Just keep an eye out for these big baskets. Right now, unfortunately, all they got is saltwater stuff, but a lot of times they'll fill these up with Bass Pro Shops brands, hard baits, and you can fill your whole tackle box up for like 25 bucks. Unfortunately, we didn't hit this on the right day, but just keep an eye out for these baskets. It's a really good way to get a ton of lures for pretty cheap. Guys, we have all the lures we need by far. Now we need a rod, reel, and line. So Hunter, you work here. What's the cheapest combo you got? What's so, the best one for the money? Cheapest I don't combo is gonna be down here a little bit, but let's walk down there and I'll show you. These are a little bit more budget from the combos in our store at least. We actually have the Mega Cast combo, which is an all black combo with a bait caster and a spinning version. So baitcaster is 55. So for the baitcaster combo, you're getting a pretty good high quality rod that isn't too cheap to where it's like you lose the quality for what you're paying. But the rod itself is super sensitive and it's definitely got a stout backbone for sure. And it's made by us, we have it. And we also have the spinning version. The spinning version, the reel is a little big for me, which I think we have some smaller ones on the other side so we can use those ones. But this right here, I think for the price, what do you think? Obviously there's cheaper combos that you can buy for $55, but it's like, a budget video so i feel like for the 55 bucks this is going to be pretty epic and it's probably worth spending 55 dollars on a rod and reel than like 30 dollars on something that you're going to use once and it's going to break so this i feel like is a perfect medium it's a lot of money but for a baitcaster rod and reel combo a lot of times just the reel is going to run you in the hundreds 200 dollars uh when you like really get into bass fishing so 55 dollars it's like 25 bucks for the rod 25 bucks for the reel i feel like it's a really good deal and i've never used this before that's why we're using it in today's video and guys because this is the bass pro shops budget challenge to get line on this bad boy you can actually do it for free at bass pro shops when you buy a combo so we're gonna go get this thing spooled up with free line that might not be the best line but if we're on a budget and we got to get some line on our reel it's the best way to do it instead of dropping 20 bucks you can do it for free so guys we are putting 12 pound monofilament not my first choice i'd probably go you know i like 14 to 17 pound fluorocarbon for most of the things we're throwing today but uh 12 pound monofilament it's free good way to stay on a budget and we'll catch fish with it no matter what <laughs> all right guys we got all the goods you ended up getting out of there with 70 awesome. bucks ultimate budget day you run into so many things going backwards no. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we have everything we end up getting out with 70 dollars there's no battery stands in the parking lot so that's very good oh hey what's up man <laughs> you want to get a picture real quick hell yeah dude let's do it let's do it nice to meet you bro. buddy hell yeah dude 
Keep watching this dude's video. He's taught me a lot. He's taught Let's me a, a ton. A ton. Yep. Hey, hey, bro. Twenty-three start... year old kid learning how to bass fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the information I can get. Heck yeah, man. Start fishing like this Saturday, bro. It's gonna get good with this weather. We'll be on beds in like a week. Yep. Have a good one, bro. All right, guys. So we got everything budget-wise that we need and good stuff at that. That's really gonna work. You're not spending fifty dollars and really putting yourself at a disadvantage. Like. We're in good shape to catch some fish today. We got yeah. all the lures we need. Rod and reel, epic deal. Let's go ahead and head to the, the lake, the pond. I don't Let's know. Let's go where, slam. I don't know where we're going. Is the problem like we didn't think this far ahead? There's a lot of ponds to fish. We'll find one that works. All right, we'll figure it out on the car ride, guys. I don't know where we're going yet, but it'll be fun. Let's go. All right, folks, we are here at the pond. I'm not gonna lie. This is the fourth pond we've been to today, even though it's the first one for you guys. It has been an extremely tough day to go fishing, but. Let me show you guys what's going on in the back of the truck. Actually, don't look too much back here. It's kind of a mess. All right, so we got the best pro shops combo rigged up with the old speed worm, which you guys know is a awesome budget fishing lure, a uh, five out hook, 3 16 ounce bullet weight. And then we got the 12 pound monofilament, which not my favorite. I'd rather go fluorocarbon, but this is the rig. Hunter, I got a little T rig on. This is the cracking crawl that we got at Bass Pro Shops in Bama Bug with a one eighth ounce tungsten weight. It's time for Hunter and I to go fishing. We are at the fourth like reliable pond and unless something weird in the universe is going on today where the fish aren't biting, we have to catch something because I have not skunked since I think like, no joke, we have not not caught five fish for a video or at least like five fish in total between me and my fishing partner since before October is the last time I can remember. So it's been like five months since I've skunked. So we're, it's looking dangerous today, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried. We've been to three spots, fished for five hours, and nothing's happened yet. So yeah. we got this, Hunter. You ready? Yeah, I'm a miracle maker. Let's make it work. <laughs> no, let's go. You have a radar in no way. Eighth ounce. I got an eighth ounce on there. Oh, yes, oh. Hunter. No. Oh. oh, my gosh, guys. Okay, guys, we've been fishing for like, how long do you think? Like few hours? Uh, yeah, probably like three hours now. Few hours now and we literally finally just got out to this spot and apparently, I'm just throwing a speed worm. I kind of gave up on trying to catch fish a couple hours ago. And uh, yeah, just missed one. We'll do like third cast, I think, since we got here. So maybe it's about to turn on, of course. I'm throwing it right in the exact same spot. So let's see if it works. Why are we not catching fish? Got this. This is giving me summer vibes on a whole nother level. It's like 30 degree colder summer vibes. Oh, come on, fish. Shooting point hours is frustrating, dude. Like. <sighs> Random fun fact, dude. I, I just had a, like a fish just completely roll on me and completely miss it. All right. Hunter, I literally haven't been here since whenever the last time we were here. I haven't been here in a really long time. Like, we gave this place such a rest to where we should have just freaking popped a couple. Perfect casts and no bass. We were at the backup of the backup of the backup spot. Hunter, I don't think you realize the, the last three spots we went, I've never skunked there or even come close to skunking. And we just skunked at all three of them in a row. I'm on the verge of tears. Hunter, it hasn't been this bad in a long time, bro. Yes, <laughs> Thank you. Oh I'm my not crawl, goodness. Baby. I knew he was gonna bite it right there too. I said, are you kidding me? And then I saw him bust right there, dude. Thank you so much, little buddy. It has been a tough day. Oh my gosh. Dude, I barely had him hooked. Dude, I barely had him hooked. Dude, he's finally sitting down with satisfaction about just catching fish, but that's awesome. He's got weird colors, doesn't he? That's crazy. Like, like spots, I don't know. He's a little chubby guy though. That was on the little crack and crawl and bama bug that we got in Bass Pro Shops earlier, right there. I threw it right past his pest pipe and he was busting on bait, so thought he was gonna eat it. He did that release. Hopping it. He hopped it and I was hopping it along and he kind of like picked it up on the pause a little bit and he started taking it and I didn't even, I just waited and I felt the line moving a little bit and I just set the hook into it. And it was just, that was golden. They're shallow, it feels like, to be honest with you. But I was just following the bait, to be honest. Man, <laughs> look at Norm right now. 
Oh, hey there. Guys, yeah, it's been five hours. I still haven't caught anything. You know, to be honest, it's kind of crazy because I swear Hunter's my bad luck charm. Not that, like, he makes me any worse of a fisherman or that he's a bad fisherman. It's just we find each other together. I got one. No way. Is it a better one? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> All right, I can start fishing again. What the heck, dude? No, you did Oh, Heck yeah, dude. Check that out, dude. Dude, that craw is it, dude. And he's kind of cold, I'm not gonna lie. Is that the Kraken craw? Yeah, dude. Kraken craw and Bama bug. And he's, he's holding up pretty well, too. That's two fish. Hey. Heck. Yes. He's bleeding a little bit, so I'm gonna get him back in the water as fast as possible. Bye bye, buddy. So, dude, they're on this They're on this I got one. I got one. Yes! I got the fish today! Oh, let's not say it yet. Dude, you're right, dude. They are. They've been hanging, hanging in the shade of this bank. Dude, they fight so hard. Yes! I did skunk today. Let's freaking go. We have waited five hours and we've caught three fish in the last five minutes. It has been an all day mission. Boom, guys. I actually ended up tying on a speed worm. And these were one of those packs, too, that we were saying, like, you know, 15 worms come in a pack for four bucks. So, really good budget fishing deal. And it's my first fish ever on the, uh, the Bass Pro Shop Ron Real combo. Boom! Look at that. That is epic, guys. We have been grinding all day for these fish. Literally a minute ago, I was just about to give up, and then Hunter started catching them. I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it another cast. And now I caught myself a fish. Never give up, guys. Dude, our bad luck had to run out eventually. <laughs> it's been crazy today, guys. We've gone to three ponds before this so you guys didn't even see because I just deleted everything. I was like, it's not even worth it. Like, we went to three of some of my favorite spots to catch big bass. This, was our, this is our backup to the backup to the backup. We were almost done walking this thing, and now they're starting to bite. So now we have three fish in five minutes. That's epic. Let's keep on casting. Oh! Yes, Hunter! Is it big? Bro, you fight these fish and your rod bends so hard. <laughs> <laughs> dude, every time you, you have me dude, like the He hit it on the fall, dude. He That's hit it on the fall. Did you see that what happened though? Like literally I was letting it sit down. I'm like, uh, let me check my watch. And then all of a sudden I felt him tugging and then I just he just pulled into him, dude. Yes. Oh my gosh. Dude, the cracking crawl, dude. What is it, dude? <laughs> That's a dink, but I set the hook like he was an eight pounder. <laughs> Dang. I'm happy about that, dude. That's three fish for me, isn't it? I got this on watching. Catching them on that cracking crawl in a Bama bug with essentially, I think it's a three aught hammer hook, the Guggen hammer hook with a eighth ounce red tungsten. What coat should they use, Hunter, so they can save 10%? 10, 10 Norm. They should use code Norm. Uh, what is it, 10%, you said? Yeah, 10%. 10% at Guggen Everything Guggen's... on the Guggen Scroll. Everything, website. dude. They have some crazy merch. Dude, I like that beanie you've been wearing lately. Oh, yeah. You look kind of cute. I do, I do it. Thanks. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for today's video. We had a little bit of a tough fishing day. We caught four fish. I'm not too pumped about that, and none of them were like Mondos, but guys, fishing should be shaping up. It's warm outside right now. We're actually filming another fishing video, so guys, go ahead, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss this epic video. But I want to take a second to talk to you guys about the uh, the combo that I used. I really liked it for the price, like 50 or so dollars is as cheap as you're going to get a baitcaster combo for. What I did notice, though, walking down here, it's kind of already making a noise after one fishing trip, and that's what you're gonna get with like cheaper combos. But I think to get out there and go fishing, by the time this thing breaks, I think you're gonna get $50 value and $50 worth of fun going and fishing out of it. So in my opinion, pretty epic deal for the rod and reel combo. And of course, all the lures that we use, I use them all the time, love them all the time. It just so happens that they're affordable too. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead, try to get us to 500,000 subs by the end of the year. If you made it to the end of the video, obviously you enjoyed, so leave a like. And until the next fishing adventure, fish bump, I'm out of here.